Hello buddies, this is Harsha. Welcome back to Capersway Tech. As promised in the last video, this video is going to be about the differences between writing GRE at test center and writing GRE at home. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So the first doubt which comes into everyone's mind is that will the university know that the student has given GRE at home or at test center? The answer is no. The university will not have a clue whether you have given your GRE exam at the test center or at home. So the basic example is after your GRE exam, you will get a scorecard, official scorecard from ETS. So you can go through that scorecard and you cannot find any area where you have given the test like it's uh, at home or at test center. So basically the choice is given to the student and according to his wish, he can give the test at home or at test center. So the first advantage of writing GRE at home is that the exam environment. It's not new and it's very comfortable because you have the idea about your surroundings. So you can chillax and write your exam without stressing out. So the second advantage of writing GRE at home is it's useful because of the pandemic situation since writing the test at the center is troublesome and reserving the slot is also getting tougher day by day. You should book a slot at least one to two weeks before writing the exam at the test center. But for the home edition, you can just book one to two days earlier. That's it. Only two advantages you have. And even me, I risked writing exam at home mainly because of COVID situation. There was a second wave going on at its peak when I have given this examination. If you look at the other side of the coin, first of all, it's not happening to everyone, but some people are not getting their scorecards even after completion of five to six weeks after the exam. Don't know why ETS doesn't give you the answer and you cannot question them. So there's no choice. You have to take the exam once again. You guys know the reason why it's happening better than me. You all know that copying stuff it's been going on since the home edition exam was implemented. For example, one of my friend who has no centers nearby his location because he lives in a village. So he opted for home edition in one of his friend's house. He prepared for the exam for around two to three months and he was very confident that he will get 320 plus. And that was true. He got 328. But he did not receive the official scorecard from ETS for a long time. And finally, one day they sent him a mail stating that he was doing malpracticing and he won't get his scorecard. And this will be a final warning. After this, if he continues his behavior, he will be officially banned from ETS. But he did not do any stuff like that and he wrote the exam very honestly. But that's his fate. And you also cannot question ETS or go against them. They will simply ban you. So this was the first reason why I suggest you to take GRE at test center. So the second point is that there is a slight chance that your exam can be terminated in between without any reason by ETS. And you have to rewrite your exam. But if you write in a test center, that will not be the case because they have to take care of the exam and they will be blamed if anything goes wrong instead of you. So it's a totally risk free environment and it will be a better option to take your GRE exam. So finally, what I want to conclude saying that is writing at home is not a bad decision, but preferring a center based exam would be a better decision. If you ask me why, you will not be blamed or your exam won't be terminated and 100% for sure you will get your scorecards if you write your exam at the test center. Your money will be saved and you will also not have the experience as my friend because he paid double the amount and wrote the exam twice. So don't risk writing at home and the example which I have given about my friend. So this scenario is occurring only in 20 to 30% of the cases. But even after listening to all the examples and all the advice which I've given, if you want to go with risk hai to ishq hai, then you can give your GRE at home. Risk hai to ishq hai. So many of my subscribers have been sending DMs on Instagram regarding the materials I have used for GRE preparation. So I have used Manhattan 5LB, Magush material, 
Greg Matt videos and official ETS GRE books. So these are the four main resources which are very useful for GRE preparation. So that's it for today guys. Uh, like the video because YouTube will suggest my video to people like you who are looking for answers. And my next video is about my TOEFL experience which I have given recently. And I'll be making more videos on this type of content called Masters series. So stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Sorry guys, I forgot to tell you a small upgrade has been done to GRE. That is you can give your GRE without a passport. You can use your Aadhaar card for writing your exam. And this decision was made by ETS because of the ongoing pandemic situation. But here comes the catch. It's applicable only for GRE home edition. If you are giving your GRE exam at test center, you will 100% require your passport. Without the passport, they won't allow you to write your exam. Thank you. See you in the next one.